Who doesn't love Pocky? Pocky has been in collaboration with apps like Line, Hello Kitty. They come in flavors like chocolate, strawberry, green tea, you name it, and you're probably eating it. So for today's collaboration with a friend, Artsy Rush, I will be showing you how to make these Pocky pens. They are also available on my Storm V and my Etsy, so be sure to check that out. As for Artsy Rush's video, she made this really cute m and guy, and that will be down below in the description box if you'd like to check that out. She is super talented, and I'm so glad to be working with her today. So you're going to take a ballpoint pen and take out the ink. And this isn't any different than what I've done in any of my other pen tutorials, but I use some pliers to take that out. Then I put the cap back on so I knew where to stop putting the clay, marked it with my blade so I knew that this is my end point for where my clay will stop. I took some eager clay to be the stick portion of the Pocky and I rolled it out into a thin layer. Remember, you want it to be thin enough so the cap can still go onto the pen. Now I just took where I marked the pen and placed it on the straight edge of the eager clay and then cut just a small portion just to cover the base of the clay to resemble the Pocky stick. Now over here I am just blending it and when you're going towards the back of the pen you want to blend the clay onto it to kind of thin it out. This is going to help put on your flavor of Pocky later. So here I did it for all of my pens. They can be messy towards the end because no one will be able to see it but you do want a straight edge near the tip of the pen where the ink will go. Now I'm only going to show you how I did the pen part for the Pocky in chocolate. I don't know what I just said there. The chocolate Pocky stick. That's what I'm going to show you and you're just going to wrap it around again towards the back of the pen. And if you want, you can be as messy as you like. Some Pocky are a little more bumpy than others, some are smoother, but I chose to kind of have a more defined look between the stick and the chocolate part, so you'll see that the chocolate part is a little thicker and the stick part is a little thinner. Now, to make the green tea Pocky, I mixed some granite clay and some pearl green. And then from the strawberry, I kind of messed this up, but this is like just a lot of pinks and whites mixed together. And that's pretty much how I made the strawberry and the green tea. I think the green tea one looks really good. And this is how the Pocky sticks look like. I am going to bake this at 275 Fahrenheit for 20 minutes, but if this is your first time making pens, I would suggest that you do it at a lower temperature for a lower time. And now here you can see that the pen cap snugly fits onto the pen. And now I'm just going to show you just how they write. Obviously these are new pens, but I really like how these turned out. If I had a green pen, I totally would have done that for the green tea pocky. But I really like how these pens turned out. They're really cute. I think the red ink works really well for the strawberry pen. And that's pretty much this entire tutorial. I was really excited to film this. I've been thinking about it ever since. Um, pretty much I got this really cool pencil case by coolpencilcase.com that you'll see at the end of the video. Now if you didn't want to have a cap on the Pocky pen, you can always just put the clay towards the tip of the ink, but I always like to have a cap with my pens. Because they are ballpoint pens, they are not going to dry out, so that's awesome. You can choose not to have a cap on them. And now here is the cool pencil case that I got from coolpencilcase.com. And because they've been so kind to me this year, I really wanted to just showcase one of their items. This is the case that inspired this tutorial, so I was super excited to do this for you guys. And that's pretty much the entire tutorial. Don't forget to check out Artsy Rush's tutorial, which will be down below. If you have any questions, leave them in the down box below, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!